first on the list, we've got in the UFC lightweight division to start off our early prelim card, Joel Alvarez versus Alexander Yakolev. Well, when you look at uh, Joel Alvarez on paper, 17 and 2, 15 of those wins have come via submission, I believe, at the top of my head. So when you look at that, that stat jumps out on you. You know what to expect from Joel Alvarez on paper. He's a, a perfect submission artist. Where he's got Yakolev, I believe he's coming down. I think he's fought Usman and uh, Damian Mar a couple of times at Worldweight. I think this is at 155, so he's dropping back down. He's the more experienced fighter on paper. You look at Yakolev, he's very durable. He's a decent wrestler, he can strike as well. Um, but again, I think on this one, I'm probably going to lean towards Joel Alvarez in this one. I think he's just very superior on the mat in terms of his grappling. He gets the fight to the floor early on, and I genuinely see, see him submitting um, Yakolev in the first round. Yep, I agree. I like Joel Alvarez with this via submission as well. I was thinking maybe more than the first or late first, early second round. But um, I really like seeing the young fighter here against an older veteran. But, you know, 36 versus 27 at the 155-pound weight class. Um, 155 pounds, 170 pretty much and down. You're, you're looking at athletes and a different level of athlete and speed as well. And 36, it, it, they, you just don't move like a 27-year-old anymore. So I'll take, the, I'll take the youth. And I also like that Joe Alvarez bounces back after – you know, he's had two losses and he's, he bounces back well after those losses and goes on, on, on winning streaks and he lost his UFC debut, but he's won his next two. And I think he's going to go on a nice little run. I feel like that was kind of a shot at me, Zach, for being over 36. Like. Straight shot. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm all over Joe Alvarez. What, I, what really stood out to me in, in this matchup is both of these guys are huge for the lightweight division. These guys are both over six feet tall. Um, Alvarez slip ground game. Uh, one thing to watch out for is uh, Yakolov. Yakolov, uh, he's pretty slick on the ground too. So if it goes down on the ground, I mean he 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 could sneak in something there. Um, something to watch out for. I don't see it happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with the young gun and I'm gonna pick Alvarez. But but don't sleep on Yakolov on the ground either. Yeah, we got the uh, the young dude Joel Alvarez going against the vet Alexander Yakovlev, who's definitely faced a better competition. You know, he's got fights against Usman, he's got fights against Maya, Gray Maynard, Paul Daly. So he's he's been in there with better with better fighters than Joel Alvarez. But Joel Alvarez coming in here, he's got a nice uh, reach advantage, nice low and front kicks, uh, decent jab, and he really likes to utilize his jujitsu. He'll throw up some triangles, darces, and guillotines, and that's really his path to victory, in my opinion, in this fight. So I think it's going to be a clean sweep. We all agree, uh, Joel Alvarez. I think he's going to get him out of there uh, with some form of submission. Uh, Yakovlev wants to fight on the ground. Um, so, I mean, that's really plays into Joel Alvarez's game, in my opinion. So at some at some point, he's going to sub him, in my opinion. All right. So it looks like that one's a sweep across the board there. I do want to point out that I believe this is uh, the point where we notice that the Damage Plan MMA podcast having a rule about never betting against Russian fighters seems to have evolved <laughs> into more of a guideline at this point. <laughs> guideline, yeah. That's fair. That's fair.